Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. So today we're going to show you how to use the keyboard and emoji viewers. Mm -hmm. I think everybody knows there's lots of fun uh, keys in the keyboard. Special and symbols and stuff. Yes, right. and accents very useful for different languages. And of mm -hmm. course, who doesn't love emojis? Right. But it's hard to remember what keys to press for all of them. And so today we're going to show you the viewer. So it'll be nice and easy. Right. So let's take a look. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Apple menu and we're going to go to System Preferences. Okay. Okay. And we're going to go in and we're going to look at the preferences for the keyboard. Okay. Okay. And when that comes up, you're going to notice that a third item down says show keyboard and emoji viewers in the menu bar. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and turn that on. And then if you look up here in the menu bar in the upper there right, you're going to see this little right. menu just to the left of the clock yep. um, in ours. And that's what it is. I'm going to shut the preferences. Right. So yours might have already been up in the toolbar, but if it's not, that's how you do it. And it makes it just easier to use in any program you're in. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this and we're going to see that we have two options. Um, okay. Well, actually three. One is we could open the keyboard preferences, which there is where go. we just were. Yep. <laughs> um, or show keyboard viewer or show emoji and symbol. So so we're going to look at the keyboard viewer first. Okay. And it's going to bring up um, a the keyboard. I'm going to just bring it and up And let's here. open up a note so we have something to work with. Yep. So we're going to go down to the dock and open up this note that we had started. <coughs> bring that up here. Yep. And we'll take a look. So the first thing is you'll notice it is an exact it's replica a keyboard. of your <laughs> keyboard. So if your keyboard doesn't have a numeric keypad, that's not going to show up right. either. But we have a full keyboard. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the shift key. And first thing you'll notice is that the shift key has turned gray. I'm going to undo it, and I'm going to hold it down again. So and you can then, see it made the letters all caps. Yes, and it made, and then it's showing you what does the shift key do to the keyboard. Well, we all know that it, it makes things cap, yep. right? Um, it also does things like it shows you the teal day. It shows okay. you you know the special characters up here that are normally numbers. Right. This is how you get those, which, which are printed on most keyboards, so you don't really yeah. have to use this for that. Yeah. But we're going to show you some other things that the option key okay. can modify. So if I if I hold down the option key, you're going to see that it turns gray. Yep. Okay. And that means that you're holding it down. I'm holding it down. And it's showing me the special characters, like okay. here's the pie symbol, and here's the register trademark, right. and the, the C. So if I want one of those, I can just click. And, and as long as I'm in a text program that has a cursor blinking, right. it's going to insert it for me. Perfect. Um, also, though, I might use this a lot. A lot. And I want to remember what it is. So I'm just going to put my mouse button over this and then let go of the modifier key, in this case, the option key. Yep. It's going to show me G. Option so G. So I know option G, hold down the option key, tap on G is going to give me the... Um, Perfect. The so copyright. If use, you know, go through those steps to the ones you use a lot. Right. So if you use that a lot, <clears> you <throat> would go through that. Like register mark. That's another one. Yeah. That's, that's easy because it's R. R so yeah. option R. R gives you the register mark already um, up yep. um, in its position. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at, you see some of these are orange? Mm -hmm. Those are called dead keys. Yep. And they, it, they're called dead keys because their accents... So they aren't symbols on their own, they're added to letters. Letters. Okay. So for example, here's the umlaut, the German mm -hmm. umlaut. So I'm going to click on this and notice what happened in my text. It's got a highlighted yellow with mm -hmm. an umlaut. It's waiting for me now to, to put an umlaut over it. Now I'm going to let go of the option key and it's going to show me what keys can take that right. symbol. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in O on the keyboard and it's going to put that symbol on top right. of my O. Right. Okay. So you do option, the umlaut key, and then you type in your letter. Right. Or option, let's do this one. Let's yep. do the tilde. Um, so option, yep. click on the tilde, let go of the option. I'm going to see the few keys that that would work for, and I'm going to go ahead and, oh, yeah, I wanted it over the end. I mean, I, I probably know which ones I want it over, but it's kind of nice yeah. that it shows you that. But if you're uh, having to look it all up, maybe you don't know. Maybe right. you're new to the language. Exactly. So another thing that we can do, and again, just like the register mark or the, mm -hmm. the copyright, you can remember that. That option U is the umlaut. So right. I can just hold down option, type U. I'm going to get the same thing. And then I would type the character like an A right. that I want it to go over. Perfect. The other thing that you can do here is you can hold on. I'm holding down the option key. Yep. Now I'm going to hold down shift and option, and I have Ooh, another set stuff. of characters. Isn't right. Isn't that fun? So here's the um, the apple. 
Okay, oh, which yeah. you don't have anywhere else. So I'm going to just Click look and it. see that that's the K. So I know if I hold down Option and Shift and then tap on K, I'm going to get the apple. Oh, isn't that fun? Yeah. So it's really and great. some other type there came in. <laughs> oh, Ona. Okay, yeah. well, I'm not sure why that yeah. is. But anyway, that's the way it works. Great. So let's take a look. Now, we've had fun with the keyboard, but we all know the emojis are really the, the most, most fun, fun, right? That's right. <laughs> Now, you know, the only thing more fun than an emoji is a Bitmoji. And That's you right. watch our video on Bitmojis because those are fun. Now, I'm going to get rid of the keyboard viewer here. And I'm going to go back up here to my menu bar. And I'm going to do Show Emoji and Symbols. And that's going to come up. I'm going to move it up a little bit. Reposition here. Yeah. And first thing I want to show you is there's two different views to the emoji viewer. This is called the expanded view, and if I click this little symbol up here, there's my collapsed uh -huh. view. And this will look a lot like it does on your iPhone. Right. Um, you little categories at the bottom, and you can scroll through and do things like that. Right. But what we first want to show, I'm going to go back to expanded mode because this is where you can do more things. Mm -hmm. um, so first, you can see we have all our categories here. We have frequently used. Um, favorites, which we're going to show you in a minute, and then the different categories of emojis and symbols. And symbols. These are some things that you don't get on mobile, like ding bats, and you know it will show you these uh, yeah. math symbols, things like that. Right. Or pictographs. Yeah, right. So many. It's kind ones. of fun. Right. So if I'm, but if I'm in emojis, you can see then here's my subcategory of what type of emoji it is. Right. So to, head, to use an emoji, let's say I go, I navigate around, and I find the one I want. Now, again, you have to be in a program where you get a cursor where you can type, right? Right. Could be anywhere. You could be in the Messages app. Yep. Which is really nice. Very cause, handy there because yes. who doesn't use emojis in your text, right? That's right. right. <laughs> That's right. So I have the cursor, and I go up to the one I want, and I'm just going to double click. There you go. Double click, and it goes in there. Or... I can just click and drag it Which down. is also kind of fun. Yeah. yeah. So we can make these bigger. Okay. So that's how you use them. Um, some other things to know is that um, you the favorites area is kind of fun. So frequently used will be the ones that you use a lot. Uh -huh. um, but you can also make your own favorites. Now, if you don't see favorites here, it means because you haven't added anything to favorites. Right. And same with probably frequently used. Yeah, never used right. it. Right, yeah. yeah. That probably won't be there either. <laughs> so to put one in favorites, I just select it. And over here, I do add to favorites. And then I can see Perfect. it's there. Now, there's another really, I'm just going to point something out. Go back to emoji. Yep. And click on any, a different emoji. Now here, I really like the description underneath it because sometimes oh, right. I'm not sure what does that symbol mean. Nerdy face. Nerdy face. Nerdy face. Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. It could be, but you know some of the That's some of the fun. other ones you're like Wait. smiling face, licking lips. Right. That's Is that fun. a happy one? Like especially these brownie ones. Yeah. Like what does that mean? Unamused. Oh, unamused. Face. And then what's this one? Disappointed. Disappointed. Yeah. What is this sneaky one? Smirking. Smirking. Yeah. That's kind of fun. I didn't. So, yeah. That's a good thing to point yeah. out. Um, so that was adding favorites yeah. and then, um, again, you can see all these different things. Um, and you can add those to your favorites too, which is nice. Right. Yep. If you use yep. a Fahrenheit symbol a lot or right. something. Um, another thing that you can do only in the expanded view is you can go over to your settings and you can oh. customize it. Now, if you have nice, uh, nice. young eyes, maybe you <laughs> want to see them smaller but it, perhaps you might be more like us and you want them bigger, yeah. kind of fun, right? And then this customized list, you can go in here and oh, look at all these things you can have oh, show. Wow. I mean, you know, maybe... Maybe you're you, into music. You could do musical stuff. Yeah, right. Music. I didn't see that. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, music, right. So you can customize what you're going to see and look at all the things you have available, oh, wow. right? Different languages. Different, yeah. Very Code nice. Code tablets, so... So it's really a great feature, and it's a fun way to use symbols or emojis on your Mac. So uh, have fun using the viewer. Thanks for watching the Sync Sisters Tech Bit, and please subscribe to our channel.